Getting hit by a bunch of getting, wieners. Getting hit in the face with hot dogs, yeah. yeah. Alright, I, uh... I've returned from the restroom. Welcome back. So has yeah. Josh. Josh has also returned from the restroom. Welcome back. Yeah, welcome back, you. Okay, now we're gonna go through this door. That's an elevator. Seems like another elevator, but has lost its power. Let's always go this way. Hmm. Seems to be turned off. Alright, great. What about that one? Seems to be turned off. They might have uh, terrible secrets. Uh, there's, there's, there's a big room here. Seems like it, this controls the elevator power. Turn it on. Yeah, sure. We fight some. Uh, it looks like a heart's in the middle. Oh, great. Oh, good. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. good. Thanks. Yep. There's You're fired. Giant amalgam. Hey, stop. I got you guys some food, okay? Oh, awesome. <sighs> Sorry about that. Kinda get sassy when they don't get fed on time. I think they smell the potato chips you had, and uh, anyway. The power went out, and I've been trying to turn it back on, but it seems like you were one step ahead of me. Oh, yeah, I gotta put on my voice. This was probably just a big inconvenience for you. Uh, I appreciate that you came here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back. Well, that's not because these guys are anything. I was just worried I would be too afraid to tell you the truth. That I might run away or do something cowardly. Ah, uh, I, I suppose I owe you an expect explanation. As you probably know, Ask or asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated a power and I called determination. I injected it into dying monsters so their souls would last after death. But the experiment failed. You see, unlike human mon humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take those concentrations of determination. Their bodies start to melt and lost what physicality they had. Uh, pretty soon, all of the test subjects had melted together into those. Seeing them like this, I knew I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it. No matter how much everyone is, was asking me. And I was afraid, too afraid to do any more work knowing everything I had done so far had been such a horrific failure. But now, I've changed my mind about all this. I'm gonna tell everyone what I've done. It's gonna be hard. Being honest, believing in myself. I'm sure there will be times where I'll struggle. I'm sure there will be times where I screw up again. But knowing deep down that I have friends to fall back on, I know it'll be easier. A lot, it'll be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. Well, that was the true lamp. That's pretty, uh, creepy. Oh, yeah. Hi, right. guys. Smile. Entry number yeah. eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet, but I wanted to surprise him with it. In the center of his garden, there's something special. The first gold flower. That grew before all the others. The flower from the outside world. It appears just before the queen left. I wonder, what happened when something without a soul gains the will to live? Entry number, was it eight, 10 or 18? 18. 18. 18. The flower's gone. Wonder what so now we, now we know what flower is. It's a voice you've never heard before. Ness, are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Ness, see you soon. What? What the fuck is happening? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. Great. The door is jammed shut with vines. Uh. Hey. There's uh there's uh, there. Alright, let's go, let's go home. Let's go home, let's go. Wait, no. 
Wait. 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 <laughs> no. No, that's... That's the way to go forward. <laughs> Hope you're ready. Uh... So one guy made this game? Uh, he had help, but it was mostly one guy. Okay. He didn't, he, he, I mean, the story and the music, uh, and the characters are all him, but he had some help making the sprites, and, um, like, drawing some, just some of the, I'm not sure, <laughs> but the credits, the credits tell you who made what, you know, and it's, like, mostly Toby, so... You all right, Dan? Yeah, I'm all right. You're you're almost there, buddy. I'm gonna check the other uh, room real quick. That's good. Just gonna make sure there's uh. That all the coffins are still there. All the yeah, the coffins. Yeah, nice. Yep, yep. Nice, nice. Yep, those there's those are the coffins. Yep. Do 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 do. Uh huh. Tom Fox. Toby Fox, you made a great game. You made a great game. Made a great game, Toby Fox. Yep. Oh yeah, there's the throne. Oh nice. Oh nice. There's here's that. Okay. Guess we gotta save. Yep. Here we go. Last boss. Ready? A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. Uh. Human, I, it was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Hey, that's new. Yeah. Oh, pfft. Oh, some South Park animation right there. <laughs> what a miserable creature torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Do not be afraid, my child. Do not be afraid, my child. <laughs> it is I, Toriel, your friend and guardian. At first I thought I would let you make your journey alone. But I cannot stop worrying about you. Your adventure must have been so tre treacherous. And ultimately... It would burden It would burden you with a horrible choice. To leave this place, to, you would have to take the life of another person. You would have to defeat Asgore. However, I realized I cannot allow that. It is not right to sacrifice someone simply to let someone leave here. Is that now what I've been trying to prevent this whole time? So, for now, let's suspend this battle. As terrible as Asgore is. He deserves mercy too. Tori, you came back. Do not Tori me, dreamer. You pathetic whelp. If you really wanted to free our kind, you could have gone through the barrier after you got one soul. Taken six souls from the humans. <laughs> oh gosh. I really angered <sighs> Lily. Yeah. I know, right? Six? six yeah, really? Yeah, six. <laughs> Then come back and freed everyone peacefully. But instead, you made everyone live in despair. Because you would rather wait here, meekly hoping another human never comes. Tori, you're right. I'm a miserable creature. But, do you think we can at least be friends again? <sighs> no, Asgore. Yeah. As a human, <laughs> nobody fight each other. Everyone's gonna make friends, or else I'll, I'll. Hello, I am Toriel. Are you the human's friend? It's nice to meet you. Uh, yeah. Nice to meet you. Hey, Asgore, is that your ex? Jeez, that's rough, buddy. Hey, nobody hurt each other. Oh, are you another friend? 
I am Toriel. Hello. Uh, well, hi. There's two. Hi. Nobody fight anyone. If anyone fights anyone, then I'll be forced to ask Undyne for help. <laughs> hello. Hello. Oh, hello. Your Majesty. Psst. Hey, human. Did Asgore shave? <laughs> and clone himself? <laughs> hey guys, what's up? That voice. Hello. I think we may know each other. Oh hey. Or, oh hey. I recognize your voice too. I am Toriel. So nice to meet you. The name's Sans. <laughs> and uh, same. Oh wait, then. This must be your brother, Papyrus. Greetings, Papyrus. <laughs> <laughs> Lily's really excited about the fan favorites. Yeah. yeah. It is so nice to finally meet you. Your brother has told me so much about you. Wowie! I can't believe Asgore's clone knows who I am. <laughs> this is the best day of my life. <laughs> hey, Papyrus. Or, hey, Papyrus. What does a skeleton tile his roof with? Hmm, snow proof? Roof tiles? No, silly. A skeleton tiles his roof with shingles. <laughs> I changed my mind. This is the worst day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Asgore, it's gonna be okay. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Yeah, Asgore. And Dan's totally right about that fish thing. Because sometimes you just gotta. So stop going after furry boss monsters and uh, just to get to know a really cute fish. It's a metaphor. Well, I think it's a good analogy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's Metaton's leg, you get that. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I know. I know. I just wanted to say, <laughs> oh my god. Will you two just smooch already? The audience is dying for some romantic action. Hey, shut up. Man, the nerve of that guy. Right. Alphys? Uh, Alphys? No. He's right. Let's do it. Well, uh, I guess if you want to, then don't, uh, don't hold anything back. Oh, wow. Oh wait! Not in front of the human. Uh, all right. So sorry, I, I got a little carried away there. <laughs> My child, it seems as if you must stay here for a while. Again, Sans goes the wrong way. Running gag. Yeah, but looking at all the great friends you have made, I think, I think you'll be happy here. Oh, hey, that reminds me, Papyrus. You called everyone here, right? Well, besides, uh, her, uh, anyway, if I got here before you, or, I haven't been doing the voice, whatever. How did you know how to call, uh, how did you know how to call everybody? Let's just say, a tiny flower helped me. A tiny flower? Oh, oh shit. No. Oh, shit. Flowey, you piece of shit. You idiots. While you guys were having your little powwow, I took the human souls, and now not only are those under my power, but all your friend souls are gonna be mine too. Ha <laughs> ha And you know what the best part is? It's all your fault. It's all because you made them love you all the time you spent listening to them, encouraging them, caring about them. Without that, they wouldn't have come here. And now, with their souls and humans together, I will achieve my real form. <laughs> huh? Why am I still doing this? Don't you get it? This is all just a game. If you leave the underground satisfied, you'll win the game. If you win, you won't want to play with me anymore. And what would I do then? But this game between us will never end. Oh, oh no. Oh no. 
I'll hold victory in front of you just within your reach and then tear it away just before you grasp it over and over and over. <laughs> Listen, if you do defeat me, I'll give you your happy ending. I'll bring your friends back. I'll destroy the barrier. Everyone will be finally sa will finally be satisfied. If that won't happen, you, I'll keep you here no matter what. Even if it means killing you one million times. Man, what an asshole. Yep. Nice. What? Do not be afraid, my child. No matter what happens, we will always be there to protect you. <laughs> Lily, come on. It's okay, Lily. It's okay. It's just, she's just, it's just a flower. That's right. Or, that's right, Hubert. You can win. Just do what I would do. Believe in you. And call on that. <laughs> hey, human. If you got past me, you can do anything. So don't worry. We're with you all the way. Huh? You haven't beaten this guy yet? Come on, this weirdo's got nothing on you. Technically, it's impossible for you to beat him. But what, somehow, I know you can do it. Human. For the future of humans and monsters. You have to stay determined. Come on, you got this. We're with you too. You gotta win, you can do it, Ribbit. Uh, no! Unbelievable! This can't be happening! You! You! I can't believe you're all so stupid! All of your souls are mine! Ruh 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 raggy! So I'm guessing this is going to be like 10 times worse than... Hold on. What's that? Is that? Is that Toriel's and Esgore's child? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. We know he became Flowey. Finally. And now he's got all the souls in the underground, so he's got his physical form back. I'm so tired of being a flower. Howdy. Ness, are you there? It's me, your best friend. Asriel. Dreamer. It's the end. Alright. Prepare your butts. Fight. <sighs> you want some potato chips? <laughs> you can't give items to enemies, no. I don't think. No, you can't. Let's, let's hope. You held on to your hopes. You reduce how much damage you'll take this turn. This song is fucking so kick ass. It's probably my favorite track in the game. Azure Charge Shocker Breaker. Dream. You think about why you're here now. You can feel the empty space in your inventory get smaller and smaller. You know, I don't care about destroying this world anymore. Oh, oh, okay. Oh god. Oh, oh. Hey. But it refused. Hmm. Let's hope again. Really likes hope. That's all you guys got out of that? Huh. I thought that was fucking the coolest thing ever. It is. It's just you know <laughs> when your heart like refuses yeah. because you're so full of determination.
I just love this fight so much. It's like the anti Gigas. Because, like, it, it's very similar to Gigas, right? You have to defeat him in an unconventional way. Uh, and it's like this ungodly, powerful terror, cosmic horror, you know? Um, but like with Gigas, it's the fight is supposed to, it's, it's to make you feel hopeless. You know, the whole background is red, the music is terrifying, and the visuals are terrifying, and as the fight goes on, they just keep going off the rails, you know? But like, this fight has this really kick-ass triumphant song playing during it, and like, his attacks are super colorful. And, uh, like, I don't know, I, I just, just, just wait until you see how the rest of it plays out. I just absolutely love it. So you can't die in this fight? Is that... You just gotta keep hoping? Uh, if you dream, it fills up your inventory with healing items. Oh. So, you could use those. But I, I don't believe it's possible to die. Because your heart just refuses to give up. Huh. Does it start over though? No. But you do have to hope or check or spare to like get him to talk to you more. You know? Oh, okay. This music is cool, man. It's like... It's great, right? It's like Scott Pilgrim. Oh, yeah, it's a video totally. game. It's very Anamaguchi. Um, it's a remix of the Undertale theme, and Flowey's theme, and the dating music, which is kind of funny. Right? <sighs> but it works. It's such a... It's... I love the song so much. The absolute god of hyper death. Infinite attack, infinite defense. That's what's great is because you're already like locked into pacifist by this point. Um, even if you try to like attack him, it doesn't do anything. It just misses. So like you have to finish, finish him. Out. You have to finish as a pacifist. You know, you have to spare him. It's not an option to kill him. Okay. And these attacks are so cool. <laughs> and then you'll lose to me again. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Oh. Fuck. He does. I know. I, I wasn't used to it. Okay. Come at me, bro. It doesn't restart, but I want to say he, like, takes more turns. Like, he puts filler turns in between the next time he talks if you die. Something mm -hmm. like that. Does that make sense? Yeah. So you're still encouraged to avoid the projectiles. Fuck. Oof. Fuck, that did like a million damage. <laughs> yeah, I think the uh, sparkles actually do more than the sword. God, I can't do this. <laughs> you could use healing items, like, to make sure you'll survive a turn, you know? Those last dreams are infinitely, like, replenishable if you just use the dream option. Mm -hmm.
How many times does he have to talk to you in the battle? Um, you're almost there. Oh fuck. I ran straight into it. I'm not trying to juke him. <laughs> this is only the first phase, though. Second phase is so cool. It's not as much of a spectacle of this, but like based on, like. What you what this game is about and the mechanics of what you do, the second phase is my favorite part of the whole game. Farm acute, I said I am Oh god. Discord Discord text to speech fucking karma. <laughs> Hold Turn on. that that shit off, man. That's the most exploitably annoying thing in the world. What did it say? I don't know. Ah. <laughs> oh. 